We've received a number of questions about a video posted by Kind LED, where they measured their light against ours, concluding that the Kind LED light is much brighter. Let's see these readings with their PPFD averages to show how the quality and efficiency of the light matches with their intensity. We felt this needed to be addressed with a quick video since the answer does require a bit of math. So let's jump in and learn a bit about how numbers can be skewed with deceptive math and marketing practices. When Kind does their measurements to determine that their light is best, they aren't calculating a real average. They take 17 measurements of their light intensity, so to get an average light intensity, they should be averaging these 17 numbers together. However, they average together only three numbers, their center measurement, an average inner ring measurement, and an average outer ring measurement. PPFD measurement can be easily manipulated by lighting manufacturers. Because it is a spot measurement, the reading changes drastically based on height and location of where the reading was taken underneath the lamp. By averaging only these three numbers together, they give their center measurement a full 33% of the total weight of their so-called combined average, even though it represents less than 4% of the growing area. The outer ring is 64% of the total growing area, but they give it only 33% of the weight of their so-called average. As you can see, this is a bit upside down. Now a lighting manufacturer can cherry pick these readings and misrepresent the effectiveness of their actual product. This is far from the only trickery employed. They didn't hang the lights at the various manufacturers recommended hanging height. They didn't actually test our latest fixture. They didn't actually measure the corners of their footprint at all. And they chose to underrepresent the perimeter in their measurements. All of these tricks skew their numbers to their benefit. By center weighting their measurements and averages, they distort the facts. If we take a set of fair measurements at the center of each six by six inch square over the entire five by five foot claimed coverage area, we get a glimpse of reality. The average of these measurements is 279 micromoles of photosynthetic photon flux density over the entire area almost half of the 531 number they came up with using fake math. If we take the same 100 measurements from our equal wattage Phytomax 2 600 light, we get an average of 358 PPFD over the entire 5 by 5 footprint, 28% more light over the entire area. Now for the best math of the day, even with 28% more power delivered to your plants, the Phytomax 2 600 is also 18% less expensive. That's real math we can all get behind. When you compare the lights based on real features, the choice becomes obvious. If you'd like more detail, check out www.blackdogled.com slash fake math. Thank you.